Did you know? The combat in Fractured But Whole changed to a strategy-based system due to input from South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Matt and Trey wanted to keep the turn-based combat from Stick of Truth, but also wanted players to fight in the same place they were exploring rather than switch to a generic battle area. However, testing this idea led to some minor disorientation for players. Since the backgrounds were the same ones used to explore the world, players also expected to be able to move around the screen while fighting. The team tried adding movement, which essentially changed the combat into a tactic style. When development began on a Stick of Truth sequel, Parker and Stone wanted to continue the story of the game's player-created main character, The New Kid. Specifically, they wanted to build on The New Kid's farting abilities and thought about making farts a key element of the story and a means of time travel. Because of this, the original working title for the game was South Park The Butthole of Time. When Parker told this to the higher-ups at Ubisoft, however, the duo were advised to change the title, since Ubisoft warned that major retailers like Target and Walmart would refuse to sell a game with the word butthole in the title. In response, Parker sat at his desk and spent several hours trying to think of how they could somehow sneak the word butthole into the title of the game. Eventually, he came up with the final title for the game, South Park The Fractured Butthole. The development process of the game proved to be very different from its predecessor. After their experience with the Stick of Truth, Parker and Stone wanted a more active role in the production of The Fractured Butthole. Parker even spent some time watching PewDiePie's videos of The Stick of Truth and took notes on what parts of the game were funny and what parts needed more work. The Fractured Butthole also benefited greatly by moving to Ubisoft's proprietary Snowdrop engine, which was used for games like Tom Clancy's The Division and Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. The main advantage of this engine was that it allowed the South Park team to import assets directly from the show, which uses Maya into the game. This eased the work of the game's designers, but it also allowed production of the game to mirror the production process of the show, which is notorious for being extremely fast-paced and featuring multitudes of last-minute changes. As a result, the script for The Fractured Butthole was able to stay topical and relevant, satirising things that happened only a couple of months before the game's release. The script for the game was massive, with the final draft weighing in at 360 pages with over 30,000 lines of dialogue, making it almost twice as large as the script for The Stick of Truth and about three or four times longer than the average Hollywood movie script. However, the same collaborative process that helped ease the game's development also ended up causing some problems for the team. Recording the characters' voices was left until near the end of development, and the majority of the characters were voiced by Parker and Stone themselves. With only days of production left and 10,000 lines yet to be recorded, Parker suddenly fell ill and had to undergo emergency surgery to remove his gallbladder, leaving him hospitalised. Parker managed to convince his doctor to give him temporary leave from the hospital so he could finish recording. When executive producer of South Park, Frank Agnone, saw how exhausted Parker was, he advised him to return to the hospital. Parker told Agnone, I just want this game to be sweet. After initially setting a release date of December 2016, the fractured but whole was delayed to early 2017. To compensate, Ubisoft announced that anyone who pre-ordered the game would also be able to download The Stick of Truth for free. The Fractured But Whole finally released in October 2017, a few days after the airing of the South Park episode, which served as a prologue to the events of the game's story. Like The Stick of Truth, The Fractured But Whole features a character creator that lets players customise the appearance of the new kid. However, it also added several new options, such as choices for the new kid's race and gender. This race option drew some attention prior to the game's release due to it jokingly being labelled as a difficulty setting. When asked about the feature by Eurogamer, Ubisoft representatives explained that the setting only affects the amount of money the player earns during the game, as well as how other characters speak to the new kid. The gender option also creates a potential retcon for the game's storyline. While the new kid in the fractured butthole is established to be the same character in The Stick of Truth, there was no option to play as a female character in the first game. Picking the female option in The Fractured Butthole causes the school's counsellor, Mr. Mackey, to call the new kid's parents in confusion as to whether they were actually a girl this whole time during the events of The Stick of Truth. Cool Girl will also claim that she knew the player was a girl since their alter egos met in the Stick of Truth, even though the option to play as a girl in the first game didn't exist. Speaking of Cool Girl, her second normal ability, Phone Destroyer, references another game. It's a nod to the mobile game South Park Phone Destroyer, which actually released after Fractured But Whole. Although many small details of the game were changed between the game's reveal and the final build, one possible change stands out the most. There's unused code in the game implying that Timmy's alter ego, Dr. Timothy, was planned to be a playable character at some point. There's even an unused character sheet for the alter ego which lists his kryptonite as stairs. The game also has many interesting secrets and easter eggs. During the opening of the fractured butthole, if the player attempts to skip the intro cutscene, Cartman will refuse them, telling the player that they need to watch it. Eventually, if the player keeps attempting to skip the cutscene, 
cutscene, Cartman will angrily agree to skip it, but skip straight to the end credits to spite the player. A similar easter egg can be found early on when the new kid visits Cartman's house and needs to get into the locked basement. Normally, the player needs to go upstairs and read Cartman's diary to find the password to the door. If the player instead goes straight to the basement door and enters the correct password, Cartman will appear in the corner of the screen dressed as the New England Patriots coast Bill Belichick and berate the player for attempting to cheat. This is a reference to past allegations of cheating against Belichick and the Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. Another easter egg can be found after obtaining the time fart ability and travelling to the northeast corner of the world map. The player will find a path leading north blocked by an old man. By luring him to one side and freezing time, the player can push a basket of berries to block his path and then sneak by and go north to find some hidden collectibles on the way to a lone gas station. The music changes to a retro version of the song Blame Canada from the South Park movie as the player finds that the Canadian border has been walled off. There's also a secret boss hidden in the game. Visiting Freeman's tacos and attacking Morgan Freeman three times will cause him to attack the new kid, triggering a boss fight, and is one of, if not the most difficult boss in the game. Did you also know that development of one Simpsons game was so bad that it made the game's programmer leave the industry to become a pastor? For more fun facts, check out Did You Know Gaming's video on the Simpsons games, and thank you so much for listening to my voice for this long, you deserve a medal for that. If you want to keep listening to my voice, well, funnily enough, I did a review of the fractured butthole myself on my channel, which is going to be linked in the end of this video, I hope. Come on, Shane, or whoever's editing this video, please do it, that'd be very kind of you, thank you, thanks!